for New Zealand, going for the corner. Oh, she's still going, she's going the whole way, she doesn't need any help, she's over. Ali Miller with the handoff, Ali Miller scores for Ireland. This time going on, De Hay. Oh, Japan heads drop after that. Try to get the hand off there. This time joining in the back line flow is Corson. Oh, Corson, how many has she handed off for this? She's still going, she's being tracked down, but she's got support, she didn't look up. She finally does. Here comes the try, Bouja will go all the way under the posts. And France have got the scoreboard going back in their direction. They had numbers to burn though, but the second rower Comes to the last line of defence. It was a good lowering tackle there in the end, but she was able to get the ball away to Bouchard. Following up nicely was the left winger. And Ireland and Alison Miller ripped it. It's gone into touch and it also went forward. It's a question of which happened first. Line it. Not yet. Lying on. Quickly taken. Australia get on with it. It's with Trey Hurt. Floating past the outside. Mahalia Murphy's got loads of pace. The seventh player. Mahalia Murphy! Australia strike! Brilliant try for the seventh flyer and what a response after conceding that try it was absolutely incredible because they took the quick line out it was unorthodox and it was a genius move and a brilliant pass there i said this one here was going to be lethal when she did get the ball in space how about that advantage white That's good defence. Echeverria coming off the wing to help her teammates. Change of option, change of ploy. Wilson's there. That's Christmas early for Kay Wilson. Beautiful option by Katie McLean. Thank you. Just everything that England were doing there. You know, they had the choice to run that then the space everywhere. So they're fun. They're finding space. When the ball wasn't coming from the kick and from the pick and goes, Katie just crossfield kick perfectly plays for Kay Wilson. Interesting to see Last few steps how all the teams try and rotate their teams here at the Last Rugby World Cup, playing so many matches in just a short space of time. Back down the French line we come. Big striding run there, coming in from the back row. It's Menage. Oh, she's still going. She's going the whole way. She doesn't need any help. She's over. What a run by Menage. Solo effort, showed the shoulder, went straight through. For me, Sarah, this girl on day one and day two has been one of the best loose forwards in the competition so far, Menage. She was damaging with her runs on the edge in the first 40 minutes, and she shows again why she is so good of a ball runner. See, there are three defenders from Australia, and they don't commit, and she finishes this from deep. It's got a bit messy now, and it's gone to ground. Cox just wants to get it out there. Haven't seen New Zealand's back on in full flight yet, but here's Portia Woodman, and she's unmarked. Portia Woodman, if this sets up for her, it's all set up in City Out with the Atta. Winniata for New Zealand, going for the corner! Salika Winniata scores the first try in the Rugby World Cup final. This is a complete change up from what New Zealand have been putting out there on the pitch as well. They're trying to catch each other unawares, but that time it was New Zealand who came up trumps. Woodman looked like she was under this beautiful kick from Sabrinsky Nafatali, but in the end it bounced fortuitously for this very quick fullback who came through and beat the cover defence over for a very good try with hardly any ball. Oh, the ball goes loose, Hannah Jones had a hack at it, but Canada are the ones to pick it up. Blackwood up to halfway, Canada suddenly sensing a try to finish things off. Elisa Allery, a chip, a chase, a charge. And Canada have got their fourth try. Second try for the right winger, Allery. Two against Hong Kong. She's matched it with a brace against Wales and making the most of split second opportunity. I like the awareness though, but it come from the brute force of this young lady, Latoya Blackwood. Get out of my way. Beat it, she says. Sets it up in the offload. The nice short pass. Look at this Zussman. The last one sees a right hand winger and then the chip and chase. This is a skill that every winger must have. Keeps her composure and finishes it. This girl is outstanding. Alyssa Ellery, brilliant. And as you can see, Australia still dominating possession with 76% of the ball. Cronin 
Stapleton to Jenny Murphy again, often to kick down this near side. Alison Miller is completely unmarked and might sit up for it. Alison Miller gets her hands on the ball into the 22. Ali Miller with the handle. Ali Miller scores for Ireland. What a try. Oh, thank you very much. That is what I've been waiting for. One of their speedsters, their seven stars, out wide showing what she's got. It was a lovely little kick, wasn't it, from Murphy? The fact they were a little deep gave her the space to put that perfectly placed kick. It bounced up wonderfully for Miller, who had too much speed and a beautiful swerve, plus that lovely fend. Three Australian defenders she beat there. Great to see. Little offload is there. Is the door opening? Chris Thomas on the inside. Fleetwood trying to get back. Thomas! Resets the set now to go for glory. Kristen Thomas is going to keep USA in this tournament in the semi final mix. What a story! 30 seconds past time on the clock, and Kristen Thomas scores the try that gives USA the bonus point. All of their arms go in the air. A brilliant, brilliant finish from the USA. That's the halfway line you can see, so they've just entered the New Zealand half. Some decoy runners, and they get it wide to Paquin. Paquin will step. Paquin will go through the gap. Then the offload to Russell. Kelly Russell offloads to Zussman. Zussman's quick. One more pass. Guzlick will get there. Team try for Canada. It's taken 61 minutes, but it's been worth the wait. What a response. Well, she scored a try against New Zealand in June. Did loosen it. But that was fantastic, it went through so many hands. They're playing the offloading game now, Canada, speeding things up, and just at the right moment, they chose to go wide. Paquin tackled by Sarah Goss, but they kept the ball alive. Zussman knew she had the support. Grusnik just on her inside shoulder there on the right. Fabulous. They use Woodman, who's changed wings, and now Woodman into the backfield. Portia Woodman, you're killing me. And Portia Woodman shows why she is so special. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you will not see an athlete like this on any Rugby World Cup stage. She is unbelievable. She's beaten more players. She's made more line breaks. She's made more tries. And this is why that beautiful hit at pace, change of angle, two fins, and again, a change of direction which wrong-footed the fullback just unbelievable.